Jilly Cube from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm hopefully um, attempting the kiss and blow, kind of the Dutch pour with the Aussie kiss um, method. I was going to colour up my white paint, but I think I will... I was going to just put a bit of gold in it, actually, to just send it kind of a beigey looking but I think I'm going to keep it white so see if I've got this paint thin enough looks like it may be so yeah the secret obviously with the um, Dutch pour to blow the paint with a hairdryer is you're keeping your paint very thin so oh very very windy here today um, yeah really uncomfortably windy like a bit scary that it might blow the branches down i didn't really want to go out in my car because it's so dangerously windy so you kind of want to keep out of it when it's that bad i find so different people do different things for this bottom coat of the dutch pour um, you can just pour it on and blow it with the hairdryer, you can tilt it around. There's all sorts of things you can do. So, this one I'm going to do kind of in my pinks and mauves. This is for a friend of mine, just as a gift. She doesn't know that I'm giving it her because she really liked... I'll show you this one. She really liked this, the one I did the kiss and blow and then I put the butterflies in it and she said she oh that would have been nice if it was a little bit bigger so I'm doing it a little bit bigger so this canvas is a 20 uh, 40 by 50 centimeter canvas so going in the colors that she likes pinks so I'm going to keep it with that Ooh, got a little bit of a blow in there it, I'm not sure if I've got this paint thin enough even at this stage but we will see won't we so see how we go if I need more I can put more on but yeah thank you guys for joining me and thanks so much to sub for subscribing to my channel I really do appreciate you all very much um, and the lovely comments that I've been getting of late it's lovely thank you so just gonna the idea is is to have my colors to blow up that way and blow down this way and then I can put some butterflies in in some places when it's fully dried because those butterflies are decals they're not I mean I can free paint them in I suppose but those are decals and when you go over them with them um, when you go over them with varnish or resin they you know they're stuck in the painting so they won't actually come off so quite kind of quite a nice embellishment I find uh, my pouring medium recipe and all my paint um, method of mixing my paint is in the drop down box underneath so I'm not going to waste my breath right at this moment telling you all about that. So <laughs> hopefully this is a nice, fresh and airy kind of uplifting as we all need at this particular time in life. So I hope you guys are all going really well and you're coping with the current situation that we're all in. And um, yeah, finding yourself keeping busy is the best thing I find. Whether it's, if it's art and you love art, then stick with it. If it's um, something else, then obviously Find something that gives you joy. That's what I'll say. This was a bit of the Boom Gel. This was the Boom Gel White mixed with the Boom Booster. I'm going to add a little bit more water 
just to thin it down so I'll be able to blow it. I've done this one before and it turned out gorgeous so I will try this one again. It just made it go lovely and lacy looking. So I'll try it again with this. Yeah, I'm not sure if they forecast the heavy big winds that we're having here at the moment, but it's, yeah, a little bit scary. Because it sort of, yeah, definitely could bring trees down. Just going to pop this tiny little bit of green along the bottom. I don't want to actually blow that up the top. I want to keep that down this end. Just hoping I don't haven't stuffed it up putting the green in it. Okay. Let's do this. Get my big hair dryer. Uh, I've got it up on a hook on my table and it's, yeah, I've got the dog's bed is right under my feet. So I just double check you're all still with me. So as you know, I've been having some few technical difficulties with this um, camera going on and off. So we will just try my best. That's all you can do, try your best. I might just put a little bit more of the white so it's got plenty to blow around on. Let's just see how we go. So the hair dryer, this is quite a big and cumbersome hair dryer and this is just, yeah, my old hair dryer. Well, it is old hair dryer now. Um, you have the, blow the blower on the hair dryer on cool. I do anyway. So that's just cool. Actually, that's not cool. That's cool. that lacing that's come up because of that boom gel. Try and see if I can bring it up there now. Wow, that's lovely. That looks like coral. But I press every button to turn it off. As usual, I've probably got way too much paint on that. I should leave more negative space. I never learn. One day, hopefully. Um, so, I do have magenta. I have the fluoro orange, which is Montmartre. I have the, I think it's lilac or purple or violet. Um, I have a pink and the other was green light, light green. So those were the colours I used, my Montmartre uh, Studio Acrylics and it was with the uh, weaker solution of the pouring medium. I 
I like it. I likey, likey. I haven't left much room for my butterflies, but I'm sure I can put a few in of those butterflies. Softening some of the edges. Remember, I'm going to do my uh, kiss, balloon kiss, in just in the very bottom of this. Um, I will use my little mini balloon. I'm not sure if I may need to let this dry off a little bit before I do the ballooning, which is I just want to balloon around here. So it's just this is just a balloon that I put over the water tap and let a little bit of water in it. Um, and then tied it off just gives that bit of weight I don't fill the bull my balloons when I do my balloon kissing the bigger ones with water that's that can get really messy so I don't do that it's just the little ones I fill with water you can balloon pop the sides balloon kiss your edges that looks quite nice when you do that So I thought I'd put a little bit of fluoro in there, which is was just out of the tube, fluoro tube in the Montmart, because I just wanted it to look brighter. Wow, I like it. You guys will let me know what you think. I know some say, oh no, you spoilt it with the balloon kissing, but this was for a friend and she wanted it the same kind of style as the other one with the balloon kiss and the um, the uh, yeah Dutch paw the blow kiss and blow now just putting a few of those kind of like that so when it's fully dry which obviously will be, I'll leave it for a few weeks or a week's time before I put my decals on it, which are those little butterflies. And then I will give it a, a gloss coat over it because then that'll set the butterflies in it. But there'll be photos at the end of this um, video to show you up to the stage when it's dry. And then in a few weeks, I'll post videos on my um, Facebook art page acrylic art by Julie Q and if you guys would like to join us and uh, post your work on our acry uh, Australian acrylic pouring group then head over to Facebook to join our Australian acrylic pouring group you'll get a few questions asked of you and then you'll be in like Flynn so it's just basically a, to abide by the rules Okay, I love it. Bright and uplifting, does look better this way. So I will turn it around for you guys, let you see. You let me know what you think. Yay. And I'm pretty excited right now because my son and daughter-in-law are heading up this way to tell us what the uh, gender of their baby is, whether it's a boy or a girl. I'm betting on a girl, um, but we will find out today, so that's pretty exciting. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will put my Nana joke, if I remember, at the end. There will definitely be some photos, and let me know what you think about this one. It's bright, uplifting, and I love it, and I know she will. So thank you guys. Till next time. Well, I hope you liked um, my little kiss and blow pour today. My Nana joke for today is I thought about going on an all almond diet, but that's just nuts. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What did the great do when he got stepped on? Oh, he let out a little wine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it does get worse.
Thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, bye for now. Take care.